Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You'll make this robe here. Your equipment will be safe. Splendid! Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. You were right. He Mixed doesn't blush. Yourself. Uh, Jamie, I cut off his arm, then ordered them to shove it up the corpse's ass. And then he sent the body back, offering his hand bigger. extended his He's all like a horse. It's <laughs> clear that you're not too driven. Woodrum calls it Erdoros. Lovely. I was, was like a lemon sauce. Uh huh. Yes. Easy, Cleaver. Oh, son, Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe, and we'll eliminate Junior when and only when all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? Witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days, although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller? Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it! Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever party with my prick hanging out. Good 
work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were whoreson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarf's Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, was a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horse sons out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, wanna find Horse Sun? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved, then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. Think Cleaver will find Orson? He might, he might not, but he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around, but be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect but we just don't talk about it. No need to. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? 
Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Orson's got nought to do with a casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> See, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the Lodge. Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I have any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. From master spy to master criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah, except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself, and thus far it's been going rather well. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. 
As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. things to do myself. Oh, Bart! Not again! Bart. Bart, stop that! Now! Bart! Bart! Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart! But less thinky. But less thinky. But sadness. Where'd you get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I. Bumpy horses. Hot there. Ziggy Bart take. Good Ziggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God, then boom, Chorfun go. Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly twenty tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff, and you will help me get it back. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? <sighs> the gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart, sorry. Bart job that good. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? 
Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Jorfun. Oh, God. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole, oh, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look, no. Only sleep. Bad shrooms head fall. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Hops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know. A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun gone. Bad troll. Now, now, stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it...? No! Didn't notice a fucking thing! Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life. Here. Thanks. You've no to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Danton, what the hell have you gotten yourself into? Edging 
just curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall too. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. Hey, Bart. Got a minute? Minute? But no minute, Scott. But rock, Scott. Rocks want? I mean a minute to talk. You mean? But nice. One more time. Can we talk? Siggy, you like. Talk me with. Anything suspicious happened before the robbery? Suspicious. But no understand. Something not normal. Something strange. Maybe you saw, felt, heard something? Yeah. Yeah. But here. Uh, like uh, a piece. Piss. What kind of hissing was it? Like a snake? No. A piece other. Not animal all that. Right. So, like what? Like... Uh, rock? A hissing rock. Mm -hmm. The hissing. Where did it come from? But... His here... In love tree. What? Where... Where... But... Turdy dump. All right. Let's change the subject. Good. But time got. Chorfon go. But God now nothing. Why do you like Siggy so much? Siggy good. Siggy can't take part. He locked you up, alone, underground. Don't get bored down here? Not much to do. When but not much do. But think. Lots. What about, if you don't mind my asking? Rocks. Rocks. Rocks interesting. Ah, thanks for your help. So long. Mm. Long. Long. Greetings. Ah, you're Reuven's mate, aren't you? Heard of you. You in charge here? What's it to you? Looking for Junior. Ah, welcome to the Horse and Hunters Club. Alas, we're fresh out of membership cards. And you're out of luck as far as Junior goes. Bugger's not here. Know where I can find him? Nope. Bloody mess. Just sort of happened. Came here, polite and all, to invite Horson Jr. to a get-together with his mates. It became obvious right quick that none here acknowledged the ancient rite of hospitality. I'm gonna take a look around. Got my eye on you. I am the witcher as my debt collector. Shite. Cleaver wants this bunghole searched. 
So I'm Had a hard time finding any work here, Witcher. Dwarves were thorough as debt collectors. Didn't leave a scrap. Nothing interesting here. has been scrubbed clean. Now, I'm curious something mighty. How is it you were off the same bloody night horse son tried to kill me? Twas chance, honest. I was at the brothel. I've witnesses. I don't doubt you found some witnesses, but I do doubt the bit about chance. Know what? Shite conversation this. So much blethering, we've got nowhere. Lad, you have a chat with him. It's simple. I want to know where all son is. I've not betrayed you! Not ever! <laughs> no! No! I know nothing! Help me find Junior. I'm about to send my lads around Horson's hideouts. Won't say no to a witch's blade. Lead my men, take the water junior and drag him out of his hidey hole. Win-win situation as I see it. All right. Now, I suspect Junior's hiding at his casino in Gildorf. Either that or near the arena beneath the bits. My lads will be there. Find him. your mark. Let's go then. <laughs> and you're sturdy. I can find gold sniffer if you weren't so tall. I've heard of you before, Whitehair. A mind's Aye. like war. Never know when you're done for. Come on! Get 
Screaming downstairs. It's all right now. Will you help me? You're not hurt all that bad. Let's talk first. Why are you here? What's it look like? I came here to sit and think. God. All right. Clever and tough's not working for me. They took me for one of Bedlam's moles. Are you? Well, kinda, yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Trust you an inch. Told you all I know. I, I swear. You'll have to stay a bit longer. No, please. Think about it. It's not too late. Hear me? Wonder if Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. Change your mind. Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See ya. He's sure to reward you. You see in the dark, mm. and you're sturdy. And remember, never venture into the fix. Cleaver send you. Aye, he did. Awaiting your word. Let's go. Time's a wasting. You heard them. We're going in.
worn by a moving door, something behind this wall. What do you want? What can you tell me about Junior? Aiming to write his biography. Put his dad in it. Whore son, son of whore son. Great title. I'm all ears. Whore son senior was the most ruthless man I've ever met. Unmatched to blackmail, murder and hustling. Word is, he had a line on the hierarchy himself. Junior inherited all his gaffer's traits set one, his love of poetry. Senior was on his way to an evening recital when Junior killed him. Then he promptly took over all his dear daddy's businesses and contacts. Went to Junior's joint. I heard, I heard. My lads near came to blows wanting to be the first to tell me made quite an impression on them. I know, whore son. Wherever he is, he's positively furious. Won't be able to control himself. He'll leave whatever hidey hole he found to lay low in. Can't wait. <laughs> Patience, Witcher. And cheer up. Cleaver pays well for a job well done. Promised a reward, and here it is. 
More where that came from. Let's drink for its nearly night. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Wiley, Horson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. You fallen out with Redania? My sympathies have nothing to do with this. Horson wiped his ass with our agreement. That's betrayal, regardless of his current allegiance. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians. I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up at least. Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here either. I get it. You're the local funny man. What was that? Funny? How you mean that? Move your ass, Grey Air! <laughs> Fuck you up! Fuck you up! Move your ass, Grey Air! Call that a punch! Ha! Fuck you up! Fuck you up! Cry, old favorite. You got a fist of stone. Damn the black. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Vernon Roach, Tamaria's last hope. Laugh all you want. Tamaria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. Up. You can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. What do you do here? Hunt Scoyatel? You jest, right? Who cares about the Scoyatel anymore? Temeria. That's what matters. How'd you wind up here? 
came with the army, of course. Its remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. Threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the Second Temerian Army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon Mine. And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis's army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than Emir. So I decided I would mount my own fight. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. Well, I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm -hmm. Meantime, Vernon. Willing to help or do I need to keep looking? Mm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenfurt, at a chess club. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. You and our commander. <laughs> a witch. Just what our band of... <laughs> They can't catch the fox. Isn't that right? Best beware of the other side of the river. One false move, and you could be royally fat. The Witcher. <laughs> Just what our band of merry men. It's true you killed kids. You now, witches. They can't catch the fox. Isn't that right? You've been here, you've been there. So tell me. Best be <coughs> worthy of the side of the river. You trouble me, Greylock. My contact should be One word and I'll crack you in the stars. Ready? My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. Your contact. Who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him, were the circumstances any different. You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one, including you. Come on. Witches, good folk, are like necrophages. Something's not right. Let's see what. Checkmate. They say it's the game of kings. 
that chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher, do you know why I play chess? For practice? To hone your thinking? No. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub. Dub dub. Dub dub. A heart pumping with life. <laughs> I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? No, I don't. <laughs> you do not because you are not a king. Pawns see only their comrades at their sides and their foes across the field. A king has a different view of the chessboard. His greatest foes surround him. His own chessmen might trap him. And that is check and death. You see, Witcher, chess is the art of sacrificing your own pieces. Now do you see? I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. Expected a Redanian spy. Had no idea we'd be meeting a king. When you've an opportunity to emit intermediaries, I'd suggest you avail yourself of it. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Horson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. You just give me a man? After investing coin and time in him? Can't help but wonder why. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Almost. I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness, as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. Deal with the witches, then we'll come for you. Don't you worry. I had enough of this job. Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgard and Vic. Um, 
must be a misunderstanding. Flank the bastard! Degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. What the sandwich fuck is this? No! Fuck me! Help me for fuck's sake! No one's coming. Do whatever you want.
got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking... Oh! Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Wanna know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie to be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then... Then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need <coughs> details. I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. You can't leave Doo Doo in Horse and Junior's hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. Cheer up. We can manage this, I'm certain. Famous last words right there. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Doo Doo? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You'll fucking bar me, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Where's Rufin's treasure? Uh. I'll get you, ha. you little one. Ha. Where's Rufin's treasure?
い Listen, this is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore! That's what happened. Told you true. Doo-doo, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no.
seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. What am I to do now? Hear ye, hear ye! Have you seen the new waitresses? Oh, my belly! Eternal Sit Listen, I tracked down Horson Jr. Yes? And? Did you learn something? Yeah. Siri and Dandelion set out to steal Siggy Rubin's treasure for Horson. He promised to find someone who'd fix Ceres' phylactery in exchange. I cannot believe she parleyed with the bastard. Why, it's widely known how anybody who packs with Wiley ends. Siri was desperate, but you're right. It wasn't the best idea. Orson ended up wounding Siri just after he tortured Dudu. Dudu? Well, how is Dudu related to this in any way? Seems Dandelion got him involved to help Siri. Luckily, Dudu managed to escape, probably hiding somewhere now. Huh. What of Wiley? He's dead. Take care now. Geralt! Take care now. Sleep, sleep, sleep.